So in this video, we're talking about bluebird predators and more specifically nest box predators. So they're still going to be a threat to adult birds, nestlings, and eggs, but we're just talking specifically about nest box or um, tree holes because uh, the goal is to protect them. So if you're landlording bluebirds or you're interested in getting started with bluebirds and you want to know how to protect them, that's what this video is going to be about. Before we get started with the predators, I want to talk more about the universal ways of protecting them. So one of the biggest ways to protect your bluebirds, if, if you have a bluebird nest box, is to make sure that you have it properly mounted on a pole, like a steel pole. Um, you can use EMT conduit or you can buy birdhouse poles and I'll have links below. I will say that there's a few that I recommend. So I'll try and make note of the ones that I've used and I do recommend for stability and things like that. So a pole is number one. Number two is having a really good stovepipe baffle. So I'm not talking about the conical baffles, the ones that go on um, bird feeders to protect against squirrels. This is a stovepipe baffle, so it's a long cylindrical baffle, and you at least want it to be eight inches in diameter and 24 inches in length. That's at least, but the most ideal dimensions are eight inch in diameter by five feet. That one's a little harder to come by. You really actually have to make those yourself. Um, you can actually get the supplies at Lowe's and Home Depot and everything, but the commercially available ones, they do have them available in 8x24, and I will put a link below for that too. And, and they work pretty effectively against most predators still, but if you really, really want to protect them, I would advise uh, towards getting a better baffle. Another type of predator defense I'll talk about is a Noel guard, and uh, it might be a little hard to see on here, but this is just a wire mesh made of hardware cloth, and it would go on your nest box, and it prevents um, predators from reaching in and getting in too, uh, too deep in the nest box. So it just creates more distance, and because of the way this is set up, it has these kind of pokes on the outside, and that, also helps deter predators. It's definitely not as great as having a good baffle, but these are good for certain situations. There are eight primary predators that I'll talk about, and there, you know, there are probably more, but these are the most common that we run across when we're managing bluebirds. So the first predator I'll talk about are raccoons, and bluebirds actually regard these as a high threat level according to certain studies, so they've actually evaluated based on taxidermy to predators how bluebirds respond to them and the raccoon had the highest alert sounds being made or maybe the highest frequency i might not be saying that right but the highest frequency um, or amount of alert sounds being made so that's not to say that they're the highest degree predator or like the most numerous um, it's just to say that the fear level is a lot higher um, for raccoons. So again, to protect, you want to make sure that you have your nest box properly mounted. You're using a good nest box. Don't grease the pole either, just a good solid pole. Um, greasing it is actually harmful to birds. And then a good baffle, and that's going to be um, the best bet. A Noel guard is also going to protect against raccoons. However, um, again, a baffle is like I would just invest your money into a baffle, like a really good baffle. Also, you'd be amazed at what comes, even in your own backyard, what actually comes, especially at night. Most of these predators are nocturnal. So the next predator is the snake. And uh, more specifically, rat snakes are going to be probably the, the most numerous type of snake that's going to threaten a nest box. And one of the things to keep in mind is even though you haven't seen a snake, doesn't mean that they're not there. When I started working with bluebirds, I hadn't seen snakes. I hadn't seen snake skins, no evidence, no nothing. And then one day in my rose bush, I saw a little rat snake. And so they're around. And just to make it even clearer, I have a map here. So don't think that you don't have snakes. Everybody has snakes. They're just really good at hiding. Um, on, on this note, your best defense. The Noel guard is not going to be a defense. Snakes can get through this, no problem. So your best defense is, again, a stovepipe baffle. The 8 by 24 inch baffle is going to work up until the snake is maybe three feet long. And then after it's like any bigger than that, 
um, it's going to be able to get into the nest box. So this is again why the um, eight inch in diameter by five foot is really useful. If you can't quite get five feet, you know, if you can get four feet, that's still pretty good. If you do find a snake either in your yard or you find one in your nest box, don't kill it. These are native animals and they do have a role in the ecosystem. So that is one thing when we're being stewards over our backyards and um, conservationists at heart, we want to make sure that we're protecting the cycle of our ecosystem. So the next predator we'll talk about are opossums. They're in your own backyard. They come out at night. They're really stealthy. They're very skittish. They can hear you really well. So you're probably not going to see them unless you start putting cameras out. And just like a raccoon, they can climb up a pole, they can reach in, and then anything inside of that nest box is trapped and fair game for an opossum. So uh, again, a baffle, a stovepipe baffle is going to be your best defense. A Noel guard will work, um, but again, I, I really still would encourage the baffle over a Noel guard and maybe use this if you don't have the box properly mounted. Predator number four are chipmunks, and this is, I don't know, they're really cute, so you know, it's really tough, but um, just like any other mammal, they get hungry and they can get right into a uh, nest box and game over. A uh, Noel guard is not going to be a good defense for a chipmunk because they can just crawl right in. So in this case, again, your stovepipe baffle is the best defense. Squirrels are gonna be the next predator and I think you know, a lot of people who love birds have either a love-hate or a hate-hate relationship with squirrels. So just like chipmunks and any other of these mammals, they can climb up the pole and you know, if, if you're feeding birds, you know how good squirrels are at climbing a pole and how they can get around almost anything. Um, what we have found is, again, those stovepipe baffles are going to be your best bet. The 8x24 inch is, is going to work for squirrels. The 8x24 inch baffle is going to work for pretty much all of your mammalian predators. It's just not going to work for the long, long snakes. Um, so I, again, I would, <laughs> I can't say it enough, I would really stress getting a good baffle and making sure you're mounting your pole good. So the next predator, which is tough and controversial, the cat um, and that's not just stray cats or feral cats it's indoor outdoor cats as well these guys are savvy savvy hunters so they're not only good at getting into a nest box but they're going to get fledglings they're going to get any bird um, there is a statistic out there that on an annual basis and this is kind of a reach like they don't have a quite a good number on it but they they estimate about 2.4 billion birds are killed by cats a year so um Again, as far as a nest box protection goes, it's really critical to make sure that you have your nest box properly mounted because of tree climbing cats and fence climbing cats and everything. So make sure that it's properly mounted and again, just get a baffle on it and that's gonna be a huge protection right there. So I just see the comments right now. Summary, you're just telling me to buy a baffle. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But there is one predator that um, a baffle is not going to protect against, and that will be your uh, birds of prey. So kestrels, cooper hawks, even red tail hawks will land on nest boxes from time to time. And uh, owls, I have noticed that owls really trigger birds defense. They really panic when an owl is nearby. I know that there's an owl in, in the area when I hear all the alarm calls of the birds and then I know there's there's definitely a bird of prey and it's usually an owl nearby. So that's when your Noel guard is going to be handy. And the way I I'd go about this is you know, I birds don't always like the Noel guard. They don't always take to it. So the times I would add this is if you have seen them in your area quite a bit, or you know that they're nesting in your area, then you may want to take action and get a Noel guard on here. There are some downsides to the Noel guard. So for instance, if you have a, a front opening panel box and it opens from the bottom, um, the Noel guard is going to block that and make it too hard to open. So that is a downside, but there are ways around that too. You can change how the box opens and things like that. So you can make it a bottom opening. So rather than it pivoting this way, it would pivot down instead and that would work. So the last predator we'll talk about is not really a common predator, but it does come up in certain areas and that's bears. And the thing about bears is that um, it, 
then there's not a lot of way to protect um, against them. And, and they have the ability to just bulldoze the whole setup. So if you have it on a pole, bam, you know, the whole thing's coming apart. If you have it mounted on a tree, they can still really get into it. So the best thing you can do is if you know you have bears in the area, get a really good reinforced pole and use that. If you're in a residential area, I don't think you would really need to worry about that too much unless there has been like some crazy bear spottings in the area. Okay, so that's pretty much the summary of the most common bluebird predators. I'm sure there's some other ones out there that can get into a nest box. Um, but even still, you know, maybe you have something special in your area, just knowing kind of how the baffle works and what it works against and how Noel guards works and what they work against. Um, between the two, that, that should set you up pretty good. If there is something that you're not sure about and you want to protect against them, just post it in the comments and maybe I know or maybe I can do some research and, and try and reply or somebody else can. Um, if you found this video helpful, as always, please hit that like button and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.